Good morning. Happy Friday. It's Tim Wilde here with the question and answer that I promised you. Now, overnight, I've, and well, during the course of the day yesterday, and um, a, a few coming in overnight, I've had nearly 300 um, emails, direct messages, um, and kind of like methods of communication uh, with questions which all of you have sent in. So I'd just like to hand on heart thank you all very much for putting forward your questions and um as i as i kind of predicted the um, there are themes or fields now obviously with with <clears throat> that level of um that level of communication there's no way that i can even possibly touch individual questions so the plan was yesterday to take subjects content and because, because like you know say 70% of you have asked about one particular thing which I'm going to cover at the end and say another 15% have asked about another one 10% um, a completely different subject altogether so what I'm going to do I'm just going to roll through the the the, the various subjects because funnily enough they all tie in together anyway and all of you will kind of hear hopefully the answers that you have basically been asking me but obviously there's one or two in there that kind of are completely off topic and I won't be able, I won't be able to talk about them this morning because I've got quite a lot to cover now this is a a live unedited video you might catch me wiping my nose at some point because it, it's quite chilly out here but hey hi here we go so first of all um the as I've over the years, I've always covered the subject of kind of physical symptoms, ascension symptoms. And a lot of you asked about the physical symptoms that we're experiencing at the moment. And um, ascension symptoms have been out there since the light started coming in at a higher frequency, or particularly since we as spiritual beings have started pushing ourselves, pushing the boundaries. So when an ascension symptom or or a physical response to light or shift within the four body system is perfectly natural when you take when your body on a physical level takes more light into your 12 chakra system then inevitably anything that's in there that is of a lower frequency has to be shifted outwards now this can come in the form of pain or it can come in the form of tiredness it can come in the form of an urge to suddenly change your diet and and you know honor what your body needs you might need to ground more you need might need to walk more um all of the, most of the time you will be kind of once you're in this vibration which the majority of us are now you'll be kind of guided very strongly by your own body what you need okay don't kind of fall into the the, the age old trap of I should do this or I should do that. It's very important during these periods that you honour what your body needs. Um, most of us just kind of need to chill out and ground, drink water, get into nature. But <clears throat> I've, I've noticed a, a sharp increase in these physical symptoms recently, me included. Now, the first time I ever came across Ascension symptoms was back in 2003 or 2004 and Diana Cooper had just bought out her new book Discover Atlantis which you know I'm, 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 I'll always give it a shameless plug because it is quite honestly the best reference to, to Atlantis that I've ever come across but in that book became the first information about the 12 chakras that we are all now using and at the time I was, I, I was constantly seeking I was constantly hungry for more so I very eagerly downloaded my 12 chakras um, with the CD that kind of came came with the book or around out at that time and it was a wonderful experience the 12 chakras descended and i i fitted them in and and then they bounced back out again because back in those days our, phys our bodies weren't actually ready for it and that was a process that i persisted with i did it again and again and again on a daily basis probably for about four months until i'd suddenly kind of got my body into a state where it accepted these much higher frequencies 
Now, some of you might have heard this story before. Overnight, I went from an elite racing cyclist to somebody who felt very, very poorly. And I couldn't go, I couldn't walk up the stairs without my heart rate spiking at 160 beats a minute. I felt constantly like I had a low level flu. I repeatedly took myself to the doctors and had blood tests and blood pressure tests and all of the good things because I actually felt seriously physically poorly. And of course, as many of you will resonate with, because I noticed it in the in the comment in the in in the questions, there was nothing medically wrong with me. The only thing that they could spot that was different from normal was an elevated white blood cell count, which meant my body thought it was under attack. So if you look at it logically, I'd bought all of this higher light in. I bought in the higher chakra system before I was or before the entire planet was ready and forcibly installed it because I, I knew that was what I had to do at the time. And it took me six months back in 2004 to get over this. OK, so from the point of successful installation, I know it sounds a little bit like programming a computer, but in a funny way, that's exactly what we are. From the point where they stuck and I knew that they were in, I, I went through a six month process. I didn't ride my bike anymore. I struggled to work. I was functioning kind of on two cylinders rather than four. And and it took me a significant period of time to, to get over this. Now, during that six months, I learned everything that I need to know about the physical symptoms that the body goes through when it is pushed with a with a large amount of light which is why i was kind of out there before they all started kind of giving information and tools and, and techniques to assist people through what we are experiencing now so it's almost like I, I did it in advance okay but we are way ahead now of the the period where the the i mean we we received our 12 chakra blueprints in 2014 in uh, the summer solstice so we've had kind of six years to integrate them. Now what we are experiencing is, is a vast increase in light. OK, um, the 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 light that is kind of combining the light from the seven suns, which is already combining with what we're receiving from Helios is is affecting us. OK, it's affecting the almost our 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 tangible kind of connection to reality a lot of you might be feeling at the moment that you're that you're kind of your head's underwater during the course of the day you might be feeling very tired you might have continuous ringing in your ears there, there are things that are going on and everybody's different you know you're not going to get a linear you're not going to get like a complete linearity with with the symptoms that each of us are receiving but what i did notice that our pe people are actually feeling um a, a difference between kind of a little bit off colour to actually wow I've got to go to the doctors the, the, you know the, there's various levels of it and unless the, unless you've actually had something medically diagnosed wrong with you I can pretty much guarantee that, that it is because that we are now integrating with this much higher frequency light eat well drink well treat yourself properly don't add your energy to things that drop your vibration, make you angry, fill you full of fear. Take lots of walk in, walks in nature, ground, um, meditate or just, just cut yourself some peaceful downtime. All of these things you will probably be naturally guided to do. And uh, uh, one, one of these subjects is kind of flowing into the next subject is, you know, how do we, uh, what is the best way to prepare for the light that is coming in on the 21st of December. What, what, what should we be doing? Keep your vibration high, okay? The, the, this, this, this was a, a common question. What do we expect from the light? How do, we how do we best prepare for it? The best way to prepare for it is keep your vibration high. Now, I started receiving information, the, 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 the application of this light from the seven suns is not new to me although i did not know at the time this time last year i ran a workshop with my friend birkin tour and we called it the keys of the solar logos now these keys were 13 keys that were given to me 
and in one of them some of the some of you might be familiar with this workshop there was a symbol called the seven suns which is associated with archangel metatron and i just thought it was a symbol to bring in a lot of light for an individual that's activating it and over the over january february march it became evident that these seven suns were actually a an integral part of the light that we're receiving until later on in the year we've got to the point now where um, actual fact we are switching permanently to this much higher light source that's coming in so we have been prepared for it okay all of this year from from basically the solstice last year up until the now point has all been about integration activation preparation release and this has all been kind of most of us might not have noticed this because we've been very tidy or keyed into these the, the global circumstances which have been going on which have been very stressful and very challenging for a lot of people so it's kind of almost like the the light has slipped through the net a little bit we've had all of these activations going on but our, our points of focus have always been very much pointed at the physical circumstances we've been experiencing like the lockdowns and the fear within the kind of the 3d reality and all of the other circumstances that i've been covering over the course of the year so this if you want to know what's the best way to prepare is is again treat your body properly okay eat well drink well don't participate in activities that are going to drop your vibration and by that I do mean um, engaging in social media that is is fear-based or is angry and and particularly you know if uh, I know the vast majority of you turned off the mainstream media some considerable period of time ago but if you haven't done so then now is the time to do it because it's it's been pumping out fear and propaganda all year so Whenever I'm feeling out of kilter, if I'm feeling low, if I feel like I've been, if I've been kind of hit by a load, a, a load of lower frequencies, which I do, you know, I, I don't know what I know because I just know it. It's because I've physically experienced it and I still do on a daily basis. So take steps to raise your vibration. The higher your vibration is on a personal level, the smoother and the easier all of this actually is. It's It's almost like you you it's like getting into a bath that has been run at exactly the correct temperature for you you don't have to add any cold water you don't have to add any hot water it's absolutely the perfect temperature so the higher your vibration the the more in tune with this light you are which believe me most of you already are you've already done the work you've you're you're up there you might not think that you're up there but you are up there if you're listening to this if you're engaging in the forward movement of this planet you are way way further forward than the majority would actually would actually credit yourselves with and i'm not saying that for, for all of us but i do hear on a regular basis you know like you know who am i what am i i'm not ready but you know that those feelings of unworthiness still exist within us all me included so it's 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 not a new thing so you know when when what is going to happen <laughs> what is going to happen with with the addition of this new light coming in we are literally it's going to be like walking into a room where the lights are on full and the di the dimmer switch is broken you know there's, there's not going to be at all oh, that's a little bit bright i'll turn the dimmer switch down this is going to be a a new reality for us the the light will be here permanently there won't be sort of like you know i'll give it 48 hours and that will die down a little bit it, it's it's here it's here already i can feel it it's it's coming through it's been coming through the full moon it's been building up for month after month. So realistically, I can't see a huge amount of change in our immediate physical reality. It's not going to be like we're going to wake up on the 22nd of December to a completely new world. We're going to continue with the ascension process as it's proceeding. OK, uh, all of the changes that are occurring on the world and the the the, the basically the, the continuation of the forced wake up for people that are still kind of like you know i know it sounds a little bit a little bit harsh but when i talked about the line in the sand that was drawn um by say the intergalactic council and the higher forces 
since we entered the cosmos since we walked through the or went through the cosmic moment on the 21st of december 2012 we've had eight years now of integration i know that doesn't it's not long but it is on an on any as far as energy working is concerned that's eight years of transition pre preparation clearance activation there's two soul groups that have woken up in that space of time um, and now three with the addition of the people of the two billion that have been joining over the course of this year which by the way we are on point for you know and when Archangel Metatron said two billion extra people will be joining you by the end of 20 um, by the end of December 2020 I was like <laughs> just like, yeah great how's that gonna happen it was just it it was um it was a conversation with a very powerful archangel that I, I didn't really take in how it was going to occur. It was only when this year started rolling out that I actually began to see the kind of the methodology behind the plan. So for you, for me, for the other light workers, we continue doing what we're doing at the highest frequency. You will now be called into your highest roles because the planet is changing. The The increase of light is pushing people right all the way through the dark night the, the the collective dark night of the soul is occurring around us as we speak i know a lot of you also mention the fact that you might have partners or members of your family that aren't awake at the moment who are struggling that you're feeling very kind of mars and venus with the own the the best way to navigate this at the moment is just to be who you are. I know for some of you that it, that can be difficult and it's actually a major initiation in its own right, stepping out of stepping out of the kind of the, the shadows and, 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 and owning your 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 light your light personship or or your mastery. But in you, a lot of you will already be doing what you're here to do, but kind of in a diluted form. It's 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 step up time. Everything is evolving according to plan. OK, everything is happening exactly as it has been designed to do, even though the design of that plan might look a bit kind of chaotic, catastrophic, you know, and, and the, there are a lot of people on this planet who are on the brunt end of this they have not had an easy year and 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 so many souls have stepped up into their light roles to assist to help to guide to teach but you can't do that from a soapbox this time round you lead by actions you teach by example so just do what you are doing but always make it the best that you can possibly be okay so if, so everything that you put your intention into you put a hundred percent of your intention into okay if you're if you're going to lead from the heart and the heart is guiding you before the ego that's what you will be you will just be you'll just be in your highest role your highest vibration everything will be moving forward so the, this influx of light that's coming at the moment it is pushing us all very physically. You are going to be feeling it. I'm feeling it, and I'm, I, I work with this on a daily basis. I've been particularly feeling kind of physical symptoms in my head. My ears are are, are very active. You get that, that very very high pitched kind of whining noise when when the vibrations are coming in. Just treat yourself kindly. Do the things that you love doing. The things that light you up, and only take information in or conversations or i i know it's difficult because there is so there is such a huge bombardment of information that's coming in out there at the moment and that makes it very very difficult for for, for to, to switch off and and if you take it in it goes straight into your solar plexus and then, then you've got it drops your vibration you've got to take time to clear it so just do whatever you can to stay above above that particular kind of level of energy. I've been saying that since the start of the year. The way, the straight line forward from A to Z, where we are going, is a high vibration. Okay, and that's not fluffy head in the clouds kind of, um, you know, ducking all the real stuff spirituality. You can still deal with everything that you need to do on a spiritual level, but you don't have to drop your vibration to do it. You, you stay in that higher perspective as much as possible. And yes, it takes discipline. The, the spiritual pathway does require discipline. You have to work for it. 
but I'm now going to move into a subject. <laughs> I, the, 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 this was, I would say, at least 75% of the questions, okay? Now, I've touched upon this subject before. Um, I've avoided it mostly because I would be very, very sad to see my page get censored, okay? One of the things that I've always, been, I've always managed to do quite effectively is convey information without you know, rocking the boat too much and attracting the attention of the vast quantity of censorship that exists out there at the moment. So I'm going to use coded language. Okay, this coded language is very simple. I'm going to be talking about a particular medical product and it begins with V. Okay, now I'll let you work the rest out. Now I'm not going to use the word, but this is what I'm talking about. Okay, it begins with V. It's being rolled out in England at the moment. It's been the subject of, of the, that's kind of the, the, the kind of the weight of the subject behind the fear behind most of people because, because of the way that it, it, it looks like it's going to change society as we know it. And I'd also, I, I know a lot of you comment and have conversations after the video's been posted. Could I please ask you not to use the V word? in the comments i know this is uh, it's it's a little it's a little bit ridiculous that we even got to this stage that social media is now so heavily censored that you can't use these words without attracting the attention of the ai bots and all of the rest of it i would like this video to reach as many people as possible so please please use kind of a a similar word change change the first letter or or put some, put some asterisks in the middle of it a lot of you will know the drill now you've asked me what's going to happen with it would i participate personally um and 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 also about the fact that it's it's kind of being rolled out or enforced upon society on a level that we aren't potentially going to be able to refuse. Now, usually, um, <laughs> I've got a Libra moon. I like, I like kind of staying in the middle. I like conveying the information. Am I participating in this? No, I'm not. Okay, I am not participating, and and I think pro probably most of you have already been feeling that instinct towards it. Now, I'll tell you a little. I, I, I'll, I'll I'll kind of wrap it into a little bit of a story. I'll tell you how I believe um, illnesses within the body work, and I've put a video out of, about this earlier on in the summer. And this this also goes. It's it's the difference between germ theory and terrain theory. This is something that you can all Google yourselves. Um, germ theory is currently what the system works upon. It's what it's the it's the theory that makes all of the, the the pharmaceutical industry so much money. It's also the theory that's convinced most of us that that we're a lot iller than we actually are, or to be reliant on other people to provide us with with the way out of that that particular illness now looking into it i personally believe and these are my personal beliefs if they don't resonate with you don't take it away from the page but also understand that i'm, I'm not inviting a ding dong in the comments either as well it's it's all got to be kept high vibrational this is just information that you've asked me for this is my personal my personal take on it I believe a virus or a an illness acts within the body as a cleansing mechanism. Okay, I per, I I don't believe that they are so much something that you can go out and catch. Okay, now if I say I walked into my local supermarket in a couple of hours' time, I tr I touched a trolley, then I put my fingers in my mouth. I, I don't believe that would make me ill. Okay, I believe if I was going to get physically unwell, I would have to have something in my body that needed to be cleansed. Okay, I believe that is the way viruses work within the physical body. They're almost like a little bit like road sweepers. So if you are clean and clear and your body doesn't need to remove anything, you're not going to get you're not going to get a virus. The, the higher your vibration is, the more likely your body is just to remain healthy. You're looking after it as within, so without. But, and I'll use, you know, I'll use this from personal experience. Well, say I went out tomorrow and I 
I I kind of went to a pub or I decided that I was going to ho go, go home after after you know sit at home in the evening in front of the fire and drink my way through the vast majority of like say half a bottle of whiskey um a i'd be <laughs> a i'd be drunk and secondly i would thoroughly expect at least 24 hours or 48 hours later to be physically ill now this has happened to me previously and it's happened um ev almost every time that i've put something into my body or i've pushed my body too hard my body has cleansed it now this goes without saying, if you put something into your body that is toxic or it is not resonant with the way that your body operates, your body will have to work harder to remove it. If it builds up to a level where your body needs to cleanse it urgently, then you become ill. That is what I believe the flu is, okay? The flu occurs when we receive a vast amount of light in a short space of time and the body has to purge. Uh, on on a physical, mental, emotional and spiritual level. But it also does so, particularly at this time of year, it's, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere and it, it does it with kind of monotonous regularity. When we receive less vitamin D, when we're, when we're, we're not outside getting as much fresh air, when we're kind of, let's face it, you know, particularly when we're more stressed, when our, when our, when our levels, our levels of personal kind of stress are a lot higher. All of this contributes to the body kicking stuff out, which is kind of why we have a, a, a natural flu season. And if you then take a, a medicine and put it into your body that wasn't there previously, I, I personally believe that the body rejects, okay? It rejects it and, and the level of that rejection will be very much dependent on how physically healthy you are before it goes in there. So for me personally, it's a no-no, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to use the word, I'm not going to kind of get embroiled in conversations with it. The entire of this year, again, I've, I've, I've done lots of videos about what I think is occurring this year. It's not about uh, it's not about an illness. This is about, a, I'm looking at a much, much bigger picture the you know we've we're come we've come to the end of 3d reality and the players that have have, have been in charge of this planet for the last 10,000 years are panicking because they can they've known for for thousands of years that the vibration would suddenly rise at this point and it's almost like they're springing a global effort to keep the to keep the masses in 3d and it's just not happening it's not working everybody's waking up you can't possibly not move through the this this increase in light and and only by sole choice would you not be waking up at this time okay it is it's the 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 uh, the this me this medical thing that i'm talking about the lockdown the kind of the whole everything that we've experienced this year is part of this kind of effort to keep to keep the planet in 3d and of course we're just all breaking out of it okay we're the we're waking up the light is the light is becoming so high now the 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 shadows have revealed every single hidden place there's only so much longer that 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 we will be witnessing these things going on around us and actually being affected by them but how this occurs and the speed at which we break out of where we are at the moment, and I know a lot of you have also asked, you know, when <laughs> when does it all stop? When when does it stop? It stops when we stop it, or when we stop stop participating. The there is a <clears throat> there is a line within a movie which I love, and it's it's, it's, it's a typical lads movie. It's Troy Brad Pitt. He says there are no pacts between lions and men we are the lions all right make no doubt about that whatsoever we are rising in our light at the moment now when something is presented to you that is is classed as you have no option mandatory whatever it's that is not the case okay everything that occurs within our reality at the moment requires our participation and it requires our consent okay if you consent and hand over to that 
then the exchange is done okay but what we're witnessing at the moment is millions if not billions of us standing up rising in our light be becoming spiritual lions and not participating this isn't an aggressive non-participation this isn't this isn't this isn't i'm not talking about kind of um wars and and battles and commas i'm simply saying that 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 line that is drawn in the sand is created by us when we stand in our power we stand in our sovereignty and we say i am not participating in that that does not resonate with me that is not for me i'm taking back my power because over the last ten thousand years we've handed our power over to these organizations these corporations these these um these governing bodies that that have are kind of like you know they're prancing around at the moment making lots of very loud noises saying we're in charge you have to do what we say and in actual fact that is not the case at all because the whole thing is done by consent now those of you in the uk will be becoming increasingly aware of something called common law now common law are the laws of the land and every single country on this planet also has something similar now i was told years ago the the situation that we are involved in at the moment forget about the light for a second i'm talking about the kind of the physical kind of like you know realities that we're caught up in the each law of each country that has a law of the land which is put in place to protect the people from overzealous bodies of 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 people that would like to control okay now those laws are beginning to rise up now people are becoming aware of them people are using them and it is simply a human sovereign right to say no to something that is not resonating with you that you don't wish to participate in now if you do wish to participate in it then by all means go with what resonates with you okay i'm not giving i'm not giving you a list of instructions here of what to do or what not to do all i'm telling you is how to how to how to be if you don't wish to participate in something if you are seeing that something is not resonating with you if it's bringing fear up and and you wish to be part of the new reality so this um but this is all coming so naturally to us we are such we are we are such driven souls those of us on the light path those of us in the truth account those are you know in the it doesn't matter what you call yourself at the moment there is a spiritual awakening that is be, it's being seen for, from the highest dimensional spaces like earth is lit up like a bright golden globe at the moment and and in the process of doing so it's attracting the, gal the galactics the unicorns the dragons the archangels that some of you will have never even heard of or connected with they're all coming in at a much higher level to assist with this process but for those of you i know, I know something which is worrying um a lot of you and I, I, I feel you in my heart i really do uh, about watching people who are struggling with what's going on this year and are, are worried about loved ones who are are, are not going to be coming with you the the chances are they will be okay but but a spiritual a spiritual life path is a distinctive choice and a lot of people will be kind of engaging in their spiritual reality just simply by being here as the vibration rises but you, the the lions, the teachers, the 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 worker, the you know, like the the workers, the boots on the ground at the moment. The way to navigate this at the moment is being in your sovereign selves, your highest selves, your, your and and resonating and radiating the highest and the possible, the brightest light that you possibly can at the moment. For the those of us who have asked me if I've participated in anything that's gone gone on this year, no, I haven't. Okay, I've not once added my energy to the the fear scenario, and maybe very slightly at the start, which is when Diana Cooper and I released the first Zoom together that we did in it did in March. You know, obviously there's been uh, I've had little wobbles along the way, but I've always seen this year for what it actually is. The it's basically the catalyst for a global wake up. Now, the situations that we are experiencing, the lockdowns, the 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 kind of the over the overzealous kind of very highly active politicians, you know, they are 
serving a purpose they are actors okay they're actors in a role and they've they done a brilliant job they've they've served us brilliantly they've, they've done they've done they've played their roles magnificently and they will continue to do so until the remaining people that have agreed to wake up and step into this 5d vibration have woken up now some countries you see higher levels of restrictions and and kind of things being rolled out than others like say australia uk is a hot spot okay i like, I, I couldn't be i couldn't be in a in a i couldn't be better placed if you tried like the united kingdom seems to be kind of charging and leading the way with with the clowns at the helm at the moment but it's all acting it's 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 simply the the level of restrictions or the level of of what we are experiencing are are different from each country because of what i personally believe is the it's the personal le it's the level of collective consciousness so that level of intensity remains as a as a wake up mechanism to wake people up to ensure that the the you know because let's say for the sake of example okay if we woke up tomorrow and everything that this year has shown us and everything that we, we we've experienced suddenly just stopped okay and life just went completely back to normal as it was previously if you think about it not many of us would want to go back to that previous kind of intensity that rat race that that, that so many were caught up in and the people that we've been in our hearts wanting to join us to step up to wake up they wouldn't get the opportunity to do so okay they 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 would experience the light they would they would carry on about their daily business but they would not get forced through that that very intensive kind of tunnel of of personal experience that we're having at the moment and the last thing that anybody would wants you know i personally would not want to wish upon anybody is not having that opportunity to experience the thing that catalyzes their wake up regardless of how intensive or how tough it is to go through all of us know how tough it is going through the dark night of the soul but that's where people are at the moment that's why we are here we're here to guide the planet into this higher vibration and take as many people as possible and we're going to be you know it's like we're going to be operating in parallel worlds we've got this 3d scenario rolling out all around us but we we participate with it by choice you know it it, it affects us on a daily basis because we have to interact with it but adding your energy and participating in the things that make it a third dimensional activity are simply by consent that's by our choice you are a perfect unit capable of healing yourself reclaiming your sovereignty and at no point uh, will you ever be expected once we've moved out of this vibration to hand your power to over to anybody else ever again we're in the we're in the process of reclaiming that at the moment so i uh, one last thing children a lot of you a lot of you not so many of you but asked me how what the best way to guide our children at the moment or how to deal with children that are being very very affected by the intensity and the vibrations now i'm a father okay and we're in my 20 you know 18 20 years of experience of of bringing up bringing up children my my eldest is nine, my my stepson's 21 my 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 eldest is 19 i've got a 15 year old and a nine year old all boys when i am out of kilter the children are out of kilter okay if i've if i am carrying stuff within my fields that i'm i'm wearing like a coat and it's affecting other people they will pick up on it um, and the same will apply to your children they will be affected by all the vibrations around you now if you are stable if you are linear if you are grounded if you're you know and we can't all be like this every day that's that that's not reality just be the best that you can possibly be under the circumstances at the time okay that's all that anybody can expect from you but just make sure that the children 
have what they need you know like place crystals around you know make sure that they're eating properly make sure that they're not engaging with this lower frequency kind of stuff that's pouring out of them. i know it's difficult because most of the kids are online nowadays but you just take as much of that away from them as possible if you are if you are in alignment everybody else will be in alignment around you as within so without that is how it works okay so i hope this has asked, answered your questions okay i as best as i possibly can do obviously having to use the slightly coded um the the the, the coded kind of um language that i did one thing i didn't cover <laughs> well, i haven't quite finished yet you asked me you know like am i worried about the restrictions for not participating in what is being rolled out particularly in the uk no i'm not okay if i if i can't fly i won't fly if 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 i i'm not allowed to kind of go to certain places so be it at the moment there's so many of us we're going to be out we're we're going to be completely outweigh it is we are going to see a division for a little while i think but i don't think it's going to last for very long because it's going to it's going to there are so many of us feeling the same way we're feeling kind of guided to you know by to to form our own unities this is the thing that brings us together this is the power of the navel chakra in action around us dissolving what doesn't work and replacing it with the higher communities what we're you know the sometimes breaking things down and reforming isn't necessarily comfortable um we're gonna have to just roll with that okay and but of course that we with what we've been through already is light work is that we are prepared for this you know you trained for what you are experiencing at the moment for countless incarnations and you are more than ready for it sending you all loads of love hope this was informative and helpful talk to you soon